Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate the capability of being able to manage a calendar from a spreadsheet. Now this is extremely useful if you are in a position where you are adding events to the calendar but do not necessarily have the approval power to add events to the calendar. So um, what this is going to allow you to do is once you're given that approval of an event, you can then have the event automatically be created on that calendar through a script. So for this to happen, uh, we're going to use the old form mule script. Uh, this is available at New Vision's Cloud Lab. Um, they also have an add-on version, but it does not support the calendar merge capability. So in order for this to work, you're going to want to come to this website and make a copy of this Google Sheet, uh, which has the code already attached. And then you'll make your own form and link that form to this Google Sheet. Here's an example. This is a very basic form. Um, and what I'm going to do is create an event. And then you're going to see how it lands in my spreadsheet. And then I'm going to demonstrate how you can create this level of approval um, in column H here and then also you can create an update column where if the time of an event changes you don't have to go to the calendar to change it but you can do it right here from the spreadsheet so here's how it all happens so let's create a an event let's call it the poetry assembly and this will be just kids reading original poems. We're going to do it in the gym. And this is going to be Friday at uh, 2.45 p.m. And it's going to end uh, that same day at 3. 45 p.m. I'm going to submit this. Now upon submitting this event, you're going to notice that um, nothing has, has happened aside from the assignment of a case number. Um, so I, I, as the event manager, am waiting approval from whoever is man who whoever is has the authority to approve this event. Um, I'm waiting for an email back from them. I could set this up to send this event request to that person. I'm not demonstrating that in this video, but ultimately we're going to look at the spreadsheet. And what I want to be able to do is put this event on my calendar, um, my events calendar, uh, with a simple addition of the word approved. And I've added some conditional formatting that this will make this much more visually appealing when there's a lot of events in here and easier to read. So every time the word approved appears in the column, the tech the the fill color will turn green. So let's say I approve this event. Okay. Now I simply go up to my form mule script. Again, this is not an add-on. This is not the add-on of form mule. And if I go here, I can preview and perform a manual merge. And when I do this, it gives me a sample of what my merge will look like. So I'm going to run. I can look through. Because I'm not doing an email merge, I'm really looking at the event creation. So this is what's going to happen. The Poetry Assembly is going to be added to my calendar. I'm going to run the merge now. And now we can go check out the, uh, the calendar. So we can see right here that this event has been uh, added to the calendar directly from the spreadsheet. So now let's uh, let's uh, let's pretend that we needed to change the time for some given reason. Okay, 
Um, and you're allowed to customize this in any way you would like to do that. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to change this time to maybe an hour later. So maybe it's 1545 to uh, 1645. Okay. Now the way I'm going to be able to update this is I'm going to just put an X. Again, this is something I decided upon. I was going to put an X here. And when I do that, I can then rerun the merge. And check out the event update. So notice here, um, one of one event is going to be updated because I've put this X in this column here. I've actually, in the settings of my form mule, have said that I've set a condition that if you see an X in the update column, then update that event. So I'm going to run the merge now, and we should see that this is now going to start one hour later. Okay, so we're running the merge. And we can go to the calendar and notice it moved down one one hour. Well, perhaps there's uh, there's been some stormy weather and we just have to cancel the event altogether. So I can even remove this event from the calendar directly from the spreadsheet uh, simply by typing in the words delete. Okay. And in this case, to delete the event, I actually need to uh, clear the, s the status event update status column, all right? And this is the only way I'm going to be able to actually get rid of this event, at least from to my knowledge. So I'm going to delete that column right there. And now I'm going to rerun the form mule. And I'm going to look again at the event update. And notice here it says that one of one calendar event is going to be deleted. So I'm going to run the merge now. And you will see here that that event is now uh, gone. So let's look at the setup of the formula script. Um, so the first thing you do when you run the script is you define the source of your information, okay? And you can also optionally choose to create case numbers, which I have right here. Haven't decided what my use case is going to be for these anyway, but I've just created them. So mine are coming from my my source information is coming from for form responses too. And that's indicated right here. I'll just save those settings. And we'll look here. If I was creating a email merge, I'm not going to go into this step, but I could set it up to conditionally merge information from this event as well. So you could build out an entire event management system through here with approvals built in. But let's look at the calendar merge. So the first thing you need to do is turn on the, the merge feature if you're going to want to use it. And then you can set up the condition for the merge. Um, so in my case, here's that word approved. So um, if the status column right here, this status column contains the text approved, then perform the merge. Now, because this process requires an approval from someone, I did not want the, the creation to occur when a form was uh, submitted. Um, so that's why I, I've been manually updating the merge. And now this one, the this is for updating a calendar event. 
Um, again, it's basically the same process. You just you can choose a different parameter. So in my case, I created a whole new column called update. Um, and I said if the column update contained an X, um, that means it should go ahead and look to update the information on the calendar. If the update column had the word delete, it should just delete the um, event altogether. And then of course, uh, it's asking me for which column should contain the event ID. And this column was created for me, so I just selected the event ID column. And then the rest is fairly straightforward. Forward. You just kind of do a little matching. Um, the calendar ID, you can get this from your, uh, if you look under the settings of your calendar um, and you scroll towards the bottom, I believe it's under the share tab, you can get the your calendar ID and just paste it right in there. Um, it's usually a pretty long, a long ID. And then the event title, this these are like placeholders, right? So you're just gonna pull the title of your event um, again, this is based on your, your form, the location, if you've invited guests or not. I didn't go that far as to invite guests in any of my events. And you can even set default reminders for the events as well. So ultimately, what I was hoping to demonstrate is the ability to manage a, an events calendar uh, from a spreadsheet. Um, to if, if that's the way you like to work, this is an interesting uh, option for you. Um, thanks for watching, and good luck on building your own event forms and using the form mill script. Thanks for watching.